Doctors have the PhD, accountants have the CPA, project managers have the PMP. As a professional in the world of AV, how can I make my business cards look 30% more legit with a cool acronym at the end of my name? Enter the CTS designation, Certified Technology Specialist, a VIX's way of making sure audiovisual technicians are all on the same page. Say what you will about the prestige of the CTS, CTSI, and CTSD designations. I know they aren't a requirement for a lot of freelancers, but it's another shade of blue in the sky of the color by number placemat that is your resume. Before I jump in, I want to give a little disclaimer here. I am not an employee of Avixa, and my views do not reflect those of my employer. I just passed the exam a few weeks ago, and I thought I could share some tips. If you're watching this video when it comes out, you might be in lockdown with tons of free time on your hands, looking to better yourself and update your skills. I'm gonna help you get test ready and pass your CTS exam when all the testing centers open up again. All right, first things first, become an Avixa member. There are so many great resources on the Avixa website to delve deeper into any of the areas of AV that you're unfamiliar with. I didn't know much about networks and the OSI model before I started studying for my CTS exam, but there are a bunch of lessons and quizzes through their online learning portal to get you up to speed. Second, read the book. If you read the CTS exam guide and absorb even one third of the information, you'll probably pass. You should get the latest edition, right now it is the third edition, and you can even get a digital PDF for your tablet. I can't sugarcoat it, this book is not a page turner. I fell asleep on the subway reading this book dozens of times. For my learning style, it was important to just get through as much as possible in a single read through and review the quizzes at the end of each chapter. The questions in these quizzes may not be on the CTS exam, but they'll give you an idea about areas you may need to spend extra time studying and reviewing. All right, so you finished reading the whole CTS exam guide. Now what? Well, I'd recommend you take the AV Technologist test. Once you have become a member of Avixa, you can take a free AV Technologist test, and then you get a certificate as an AV Technologist. Woohoo! It's pretty safe to assume that if you can't pass this, you probably aren't ready for the CTS exam. All right, so at the back of your CTS book, you can register for a Total Seminars Training Hub account for even more online quizzes. These had similar questions to the AV Technologist test, but the good thing about studying here is that the answers and explanations are much more accessible than they are on the Avixa website. There were no new questions though. If you want new questions, and you know somebody who has an older version of the CTS book with the CD included, there are even more practice questions to study there. And if that's still not enough and you need even more practice questions, there's an app called Study Blue where users submit flashcards on any given topic, and I found a few good CTS ones. All right, so to sum all of this up, read the book, do the quizzes at the end of each chapter, and then test your knowledge online. Now you know I can't give you any of the questions word for word, but I would recommend a good understanding of the current and power formulas, know all the different kinds of audio and video cables as well as what they're used for, and make sure that you can understand how to properly read floor plans. On the CTS Candidate Handbook, it states that, quote, the passing score is always 350 out of a possible 500 points. So that means you only need a 70% to pass. Now go out there and claim your fancy AV acronym. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps grow my channel. And good luck on your exam.